This screencast is going to show you how to use Screencast-O-Matic. You learned about Loom and Screencastify today. Screencast-O-Matic is my personal favorite because of the 15-minute time uh, limit. Uh, it's a little bit longer than the five minutes on Screencastify, and it's just the one I've been using the longest, so I guess it's the one I'm most familiar with. Um, when I'm using my uh, laptop like I am right now, I tend to just go to the website and open it up from there. Um, I really don't think it makes any difference. It's just part of my habit. And I would launch Free Recorder, um, similar to what I'm going to show you, you'll do when you use um, the extension. One thing I want to point out, another nice feature about Screencast-O-Matic is you'll notice that if you look above my um, search bar that you can't see the tabs that I have open. So you have a resizable box that you can change the size of. And if you don't want to see all those tabs above there, you, you don't want your students to see them, you can um, just lower that bar. So we're going to do Screencast-O-Matic and you'll see that um, if you click the, the little blue eye up at the top, um, this is where you um, will open the same thing, Launch Recorder. And then after you click Launch Recorder, it's going to open this uh, screen recorder. And I'm going to show you something. Right now you can see how my whole page is, uh, is being shown. I can pause this very easily and resize that screen. So now when you look at my screen, all you're seeing is the slide. I didn't have to put it in presentation mode to do this. Um, and now I'm able to, to be a little bit more um, flexible with how I'm interchanging and going back and forth through different slides. Um, and this is just a nice feature. Seems very, it's been very easy for me just to pause it and resize it. Sometimes when I'm working with um, Loom, uh, I go to pause it and it stops recording. So I've just found that this is very easy. Okay, so again, you're going to click the little blue eye up the top. You'll click Launch Recorder, Open Screen Recorder, and this will show up on your screen. So it's a black dotted line box. Underneath here is your tool to start recording. When you click Start Recording, um, it turns to a blue pause button and then a timer shows up here of how many minutes you've been recording and how many minutes that you have left. You're able to record your screen, just your webcam or both. If you do a webcam here, it shows up in the bottom right, can't, right hand corner over here, um, just a square with your, your face showing in the camera. And again, you can just do this resizing option. When you're recording, this outline turns red and that's one way that you can know that you're recording. So you record your message, you click record, and then when you click stop, um, it'll ask you if you're done. So you can either hit record again, um, or if you're done, um, it'll bring up this menu and you have the option to save or upload it. You can share it with a link if you wanna edit it. I don't tend to do any editing, so I probably would not be the best help there, but I bet if we played around with it, it probably wouldn't be too hard. So I tend to do save and upload. And when you click save and upload, it opens up to these options here. And so you can save it right to your computer. Um, if you're on your Chromebook, it'll go directly to your downloads in your Google Drive. You can upload it to Screencast-O-Matic. You have a, a, a Google login. Um, I know Chris has a paid version of this, so you have your own file there. I, again, just upload it right to YouTube. Um, it goes, once you do this the first time, it'll connect to your channel, um, and it's just always there, easy to find. So Screencast-O-Matic, again, my personal favorite. Uh, if you need any help with any of the three, though, I've become pretty good at using all three of them. So let me know if you need help.